when you're taking your portrait, you should always turn away from the light. There is the light, and then you turn away, and then you stay with your body, and then slightly turn your head this way towards the light so that it will be more darkness than brightness no this is this is a good portrait time for a new tutorial my name is Botvidsson and today I don't know what we should do as you can see I have a huge uh, softbox here. Why? You might wonder. This is a window. This is window light. And this is... I want to show a bit how I take this kind of uh, food uh, stuff. And then I use like a window light because it's not always you can have access to daylight. And then you have to create your own daylight. And if you do, you always have control over the light. The sun doesn't go down, there are clouds, it goes up and down. It's very good to create your own daylight. So let's put it on. Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. And what do we get? There is my coffee. Daylight. Sort of. The reason why I do not put it very close to this softbox. I want to place it quite far away. Otherwise, the fall off would be very quickly, it will not look that much like the sun coming through a window. This light, it goes everywhere, it bounces, yes, everywhere in a room. It goes to that wall, it goes to that wall, floor, ceiling. So, instead of my coffee, let's put in uh, espresso. Let's take a shot. Now we have espresso shot there, very creative. As I said in the beginning, I don't know where this is uh, going, but as I said before, the light is going everywhere. We can control it a bit and get a bit more contrast in the image by blocking the light from bouncing back into the image. So let's put up some flags on both sides. Now we will not get that much light bouncing in from the sides. Uh, let's take a new shot. What do we get? It's a bit more um, darker on the sides and we get a bit more contrast and we can keep on adding more, more, more. And we can, we can add one at the back here. Let's see what happens. And let's take another shot. This guy you know, we are blocking, the light is coming this direction and then we put up this and now we're blocking the direct light. So now it's only in indirect light. It's only the light that comes from, I would say, the ceiling, maybe from over there a bit. It's, there's no direct light when I put up this flag. Uh, it's getting a bit darker, of course. I think it's kind of nice, but we can... 160. Shoot. Yes. And uh, as you see here, you see there is a small hole I left there. That is what you see in the picture over here. Uh, the direct light coming in. Very soft edge. What we can do, we can help this um, edge by adding another flash. I have one over here, 5 degree grid, to make it uh, as narrow as possible. I should actually have a snoot. I should make it really, really small because I cannot place it further away, but I should if I want to pretend that this is direct light from the sun. So let's put that on and it's passing by this softbox and goes into the shot. There you see, the perfect uh, situation would be that we could move it further away so the edge of the shadow will be sharp all the way but i think it looks kind of nice what would happen if i place this the cup into this light ah shadow shadow play that's nice one more okay the image is ready thank you for watching just kidding maybe we can do something else 
what we could I could I can I, I could I can I should what I wanted to show today was actually a bit about composition a bit about composition because this is a huge topic but I want to show you one way how you can how, if you want to make a picture out of this now it's only a cup if you want to add stuff how do we know where to add it how how to know where we should place stuff in the shot you know this is this is probably the hardest thing about photography to create make a composition set a nice uh, set so what i done in capture one i added um this uh, guidelines if i pull up the opacity here i just drag an image to this and this is this uh, golden spiral or something. There are many ways to do compositions in, in food photography and all this. There are many different ways, but this is just one. This is good for when the client wants to add text. They want to have space. So we are focusing on the, the right side of the picture. So if I take, if we move this, cup maybe around there yeah and this is the where the focus should be where the spiral <laughs> there is the focus and let's let's say we want to focus on this coffee cup but then we need to add a bit more stuff I guess I have some uh, I have some stuff What will happen if I add this croissant? Wow. Okay. Before we go add more stuff, I would like to show you how the image will look with only the second light. So let's shut down this and take a shot. What do we get? Probably very dark image, very dramatic. Let's uh, turn off this uh, spiral. Wow, this is cool, I think. This is, this is the shot, this is the final shot. You know, you should shoot how you like it to be. And that is your style. This is my style. I like this, so this is my unique style, maybe. Your taste, what you like, becomes your style. And you should really stick to that style, because then you will become unique. Maybe. But maybe we should not go for this, because the client went nuts when they saw this. Hey, can't you add a bit more uh, light, you crazy... Okay, let's add some more light. Let's add a few more things. I have a knife in my fridge with some butter. I know, it's crazy. I will put this maybe there you know there are no rules I like it you know why because it's my style and maybe we should put back the spiral to help us do a composition what else can we add um, <laughs> I have I have this one grained coffee beans I have no idea where to place this this is a bit like live, you know? What will happen if I place it there? Maybe it should be like this. Well, I'm just testing it. I'm placing it, maybe. What happens if I add this crazy thing? Maybe we should add that on top here. How will that look? You see, I'm following the, the line there. Maybe it's a bit, can be a bit more into the shot. Shoot! I think I like the straight line there. Maybe we should be just outside this shadow line. Yeah. Let's place it there. And then I have some uh, coffee beans. We can throw some in. Randomly. <laughs> Maybe they fall out a bit. How will that look? So, if I take away this, this overlay and let's take a look at this. Like I told you, this is my style. Very minimalistic. 
I think uh, that this line with the, the grain coffee here, I think it can be nice if we do the same angle as the one on top there. They're kind of the same. And should we have a bit of coffee spilled outside this? How about that? Yeah, why not? Why not? Is there anything else we should add? Or should we go for this extremely minimalistic one? I have some crackers. How about that? I have actually a spoon here. Sugar. Maybe we can add that somehow. Maybe in the sun. What will happen then? Sugar in the sun. Yeah, why not? One thing, if you should, if this should be, feel a bit more realistic, then the direct light from the sun is a bit more yellowish than this shade. Should be a bit colder. So we can make this, put on the blue gel on this, or we can put on a yellow on this other one. I think we can just put one layer of CTO. And then let's take a shot. And then you see, it's a bit more, there's a cold and it becomes a bit more yellow. If you look before, after, yeah, let's go for that one. So guys, I think I will leave it like this. Very minimalistic, a bit about composition, a bit about setting up the light for food shots. I don't know. I don't think I will do a, a retouching video for this because I will not touch it at all. This is the final shot. This is how it will look. Okay, I hope you can take something from this chaotic tutorial. You know, a bit, pieces, bits and pieces from this, I hope. And as always, I'll see you next time.